right, we're back for round three. We're 0-2. Let's keep this hand and hope we can get one win. Um, but Momir's based on luck. Um, mostly. You know, you'd still have to play good combat, and I've made some mistakes. But not too upset when I lose to variants in Momir. Not as much as during a, a draft or something, but uh, all part of the game. Where is our opponent? Where is our opponent? He's playing first, but he's just not here. So maybe he's using this as a double Q opportunity or something, which is totally okay, because if somebody doesn't pay attention to during Momir, they can lose pretty badly. He's dropping a swamp and passing the turn, so we'll drop a mountain. And we'll pass our turn. All right, our opponent is definitely playing slowly, so they're doing something other than playing. Which can come back and bite you pretty hard in Momir uh, if you do hit a board, sta uh, bro board stall state. Looks like we might be doing a whole lot of pausing and unpausing in this video, though, so uh, we'll see how long this guy takes here. Hey, our opponent showed up. He got himself a Beast Breaker of Balaged. It's a 2-2 that he could level up, which he's not going to waste time doing. Ultimately, it can become a trample. Not too exciting. But we're going to see what we get for two. And of course, I was giving my opponent too much credit that he would have f 6 through a turn in which he can do absolutely nothing. So we will have to wait for our opponent to show up yet again, despite having just been there to play his creature. There we go. So we'll play our mountain and we will play our two drop and see what we get. He played a two drop. Hmm. Weird. We get a Mog War Marshal, so we get a 1-1 one, one Goblin and we will let the War Marshal die next turn and get another 1-1 one, one Goblin. Or just double block. Hey, hey, is our opponent here now? That would be awesome if he was. Plays a mountain. Levels up. Alright, I guess making him a 4-4 four four is something. I'll block with my War Mart. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'm not going to pay for War Marshal, so I'll get a Goblin. And then I will play a 3-drop. What do we get? Primal Force, a 3-2. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, that creature gets plus 3, plus 3 until end of turn. Hmm. That could be really good with hasty guys. So I'll protect this guy for a little bit. All right. Our opponent's going for four. He gets himself an Aurora Griffin, a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, flying, target permanent becomes white until end of turn. All right. But it's a 2-2 two -two flyer, which is pretty good. We'll just take four here. Save my goblins for a little bit later for chump blocking. For four, we get ourselves a 7-6 worm that's going to be a 10-9 worm, but unfortunately with summoning sickness. But hey, a 7-6 worm is pretty good. Get to bash in with it for, what, one turn? Two time counters, next turn one time counter. As soon as you remove the last one, you sack it. All right, so I'll get one turn that I can attack with it. What? Sliver Queen. What a lucky guy. What a lucky guy. In for two, be my guest. Vanishing. Let's play a five drop, see if we get lucky. Maybe get a Blood Baron. We get an Ogre Slumlord, so a three three. 
whenever a non-token creature dies, which is every creature, so he's just a 3-3. Three, three. That's unfortunate. Let's get in for 7. Just takes it. Makes sense. I could quadruple block the Sliver Queen. It seems bad, though. In with the Sliver Queen and the Griffin. So we'll chump block the Sliver Queen here. Doesn't have Trample, right? No. We'll take two. And what's he get for six? He gets himself a 4-3 Swamp Walk. Oh, gross. Yeah, this game is just totally against us. Totally against us. We need an awesome 6 and 7. Uh, a 5-5 five five that can't attack unless there's a mountain on the battlefield? I guess you're okay. So we're taking 6 guaranteed. And then I think we'll double block the Silver Queen. Maybe. We'll have to see. We'll see what he attacks with. In with the Swamp Walker and the Flyer. Okay, so just for six. Takes me to ten. So I'm on a two-turn clock if I don't get a Flyer and a way to kill that Merc, Merc, Merc Diver? Merc Diver. Zombie Frog Beast. Alright, we're out of this game. That sucks. We need to do something quickly. Uh, five four flyer. Yeah, we're super out of this game. We're just dead. Last chance. Last chance. What do we get? Four four. Skip my draw step. So he gets in for four, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that's game. That super sucks. We just got demolished there. Damn flyers. Uh, all right, we'll go back in. Potentially 0-3, this Bomir uh, Vig series. Not the way I intended this to go, but we'll play first and see what we can do. We will keep a lot of islands. We will play a swamp and pass the turn. But hey, at least our opponent showed up eventually. I was hoping we were actually going to do pretty well, considering he took a turn off to level that guy up instead of making a creature, and he played a two-drop when he was on the play, and was making mistakes left, right, and center, it seemed. But, uh, man, did he get lucky with that Sliver Queen. And, of course, all of the Flyers. He plays a Swamp as well. We will play a Swamp as well. Pass the turn. Let's see what he gets for two. He gets a Dwarven Blast Miner. A 1-1. One, one. Destroy target non-basic land. So just a 1-1 one, one for two. Sounds good to me. Or good for me, rather. For three, I get a 3-3. Three, three that, uh... I lose two life when it dies. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But hey, it may be able to attack in next turn. We'll see what he gets for three. He gets a 3-2, Dragon Scarred Bear, from Dragons of Tarkir. Well, we could swing in and just kill the bear. Let's see what we get for four first. We get... A 1-1 one, one that gets me a 3-3, three, three, and my golems have regenerate for 1. Yeah, I'll come in with my 3-3. Three, three. If he wants to trade for me to lose 2, it's fine by me. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Totally fine. I don't think I've seen splicers in Momir 
ever until these last three matches, and now I've seen two of them. Olivia Voldaren, what a frigging luck sack. What a frigging luck sack. This guy has a horseshoe shoved up somewhere. Shoved right up somewhere. So at least he can only activate Olivia, what, like once? But she gets so frigging big so quick. 4-4 uh, four, four, Vigilance deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That power... All right, so fight. So we can kill Olivia next turn. That's fine by me. We can kill Olivia next turn. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can kill Olivia next turn. As long as he doesn't play a mountain and double activates her. Because then she'd be a 5-5, five five, which is just stupid. He's going to activate it and kill my splicer. Okay. Strange play, because Olivia is going to die now for sure. And he doesn't play a creature. He doesn't attack. Super weird. Super weird. Um, let's attack in for four? Let me read this. Yeah, it's going to work the way I think. So he's going to take four here. He is going to take four. Or sorry, he's not going to take four. He's going to chump block there. And then we're going to kill Olivia. And then we're going to put down a four drop. Fine by me. Fine by me. Kelton Champion. Yeah, I'll deal three damage to him. Why not? Why not? Let's see what he gets for six to stop my army of three power creatures. He gets a five five. Pretty good. Echo, we cannot pay it. Goodbye, Kelton Champion. Drop a mountain. Drop a seven drop and hope it can tussle with a five five. Hey hey, our very own five five. Whenever it attacks, you may exile target creature. Defending player controls. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. that's a bomb. So uh, a he has an island out, so it's unblockable. B, it is pure unconditional removal in this format because they're tokens. So that's a nice Gurmog Angler you have there. It would be a shame if it disappeared. Yeah, I'll take five. Why not? So it's whenever it attacks, right? Whenever it attacks. So I can get in for eight this turn. Because I can exile the Gurmog Angler during the uh, Declare Attacker step. And we get a Liege of the Tangle, an 8-8. Eight, eight. Whenever it deals combat damage, you may choose any number of target lands you control and put an Awakening Counter on each of them. Each of those lands is an 8-8 eight, eight green elemental creature. Sweet. <laughs> I think my opponent's basically dead. So let's exile the Angler. Yes, I want to use the ability. Get in for 8. And uh, I think our opponent's dead. Be an awesome time for Hoverguard Sweepers or Platinum Imperium. But not so much a Scaled Worm. Not so much a Scaled Worm. Yep, our opponent concedes. There we go. So uh, game three, we maybe can pull this out. We will see. We will see. I'll try my best. And hope that Momir is with me. I will keep my hand, of course. And let's see what our opponent does. Swamp and pass. Swamp and pass. Is our opponent going to do a two drop? They're going to do a two drop. I don't advise it when you're on the play. Emblazoned Golem, a one two. Just a one two. All right. So 
So we'll go mountain and see what we get for two. We get a 1-1 one, one that I can pay stuff for that I'm not going to do. So his 1-2 very much beats my 1-1. One, one. He's not going to swing in or play a 3-drop. Okay, so he's playing 2 and then skipping 3. All right. I guess, but I don't think there's that many awesome 2-drops, really. We get a 2-1 shadow. Ooh. Each player discards a card. That's dumb. Oh, that's really dumb. That's really dumb. But what are the odds that he's going to get a shadow creature to block it? Both players discard a card. So I go to four lands, discard a card. I'm going to draw a card, so I'll have four. So I'll go to three lands in hand. He's skipping four as well. That's weird. All right. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Uh, we will put down a four drop. Ooh, three, three flyer. Yeah. So we'll get in for two and we'll both discard a card. And I will just cripple both of our games. <laughs> cripple both of our games. I guess he's skipping turns because he knows the rats are gonna eat his lands pretty heavily. He gets himself a 2-3 that has first strike as long as it's attacking, attacking and uh, an irrelevant second ability. Let's drop a mountain. Drop a 5-drop. What do we get? Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you may have uh, allied creatures, so none of them. I'll use the ability, though. May as well. And then we'll get in for 5. And we'll discard cards. So I'm going to cap out at six. Doesn't seem great. And he's going to cap out at one, two, three, four, five, six. Discard. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's going to skip this step to keep a card in hand. Yeah, he is. So he's playing a little bit risky here. You don't want to be skipping that many turns, especially when I've got a flyer on board and a shadow creature on board. And uh, when Gang of Devils dies, it deals three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three target creatures of players. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All that's to get in for five again. He'll discard a card down to one. I'll discard nothing. And pass the turn. So he's going to put down a 7-drop, I assume. And he gets Thraxamundar. 6-6 six, six haste whenever it attacks. Defending player sacks a creature. Ooh, that's pretty awful. That's pretty awful. So he's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven, so I can deal 3, 4, 5, 6 to it. Damn. So close. So close. All right, how does this work? When a player sacks a creature, it gets a counter. So I sack that, block it for five, six, seven, deal one to him. All right, cool. So we can kill Thraxamunder. Sack that. Gets a counter. Go to blocks, block, and block. Thraxamundar takes five. Oh. Our opponent knows how to play magic. Our opponent did not put lethal damage through to Gang of Devils. He kept it all on the first creature. Good job, opponent. Good job. Let's drop a six drop. See what we can do. Greater Stone Spirit, a 4-4. Can't be blocked by creatures with flying. All right. It's a guy that we use to sacrifice, basically. Um, so I think maybe I just come in with everybody. Just come in with everybody and race this guy. 
He's going to block there. It's going to double block, eh? Sure thing. We'll kill off that. So we can make him take eight. Taking him to four, and we've got lethal on board if he doesn't get a flyer or a shadow creature. Lethal on board. What's he get? Does it say flying or shadow? Uh, I don't think so. Yep, we win. Awesome. Awesome. He's going to attack in. We will sack the greater stone spirit. We will take eight. And then we win. Awesome. And I'm not even going to cast anything just in case it would be bad. Attack with all. Deal five damage. And hey, look at that. We won a match. <laughs> uh, it took a while, but we actually won a match. So we won and two'd this Momir uh, Wacky Wednesday. But hey, I love this format. I love losing in this format. Uh, it is one of my favorite formats. I wish there was a way to easily play it in paper, um, but without using a lot of blank cards and markers and a whole lot of writing, it would be pretty darn difficult. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing Momir. I, I hope to get some more of it on Wacky Wednesdays. Um, but definitely, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Leak. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Leak. You've already found me here on YouTube. You've got the comment section down below uh, if you want to post there. As well, if you like the videos, you should click those little thumbs up icons. That lets me know that you like the videos, the world know that you like the videos, and uh, keeps my videos rising up through the ranks. As well, you should subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a button below each video and one in the outro of each video. That'll keep you up to date on all the latest Wacky Wednesdays, Spiky Saturdays, Crack a Pack Tuesdays, and any other videos that pop up here or there. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all.